Hey, Nikki Estrada here. I wanted to share with you a little bit about Ayurveda and the five elements and my personal experience with adding Ayurveda to my yoga practice. I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this, but it was many, many years into my yoga practice before I discovered Ayurveda. Well, I shouldn't say before I discovered Ayurveda. I had read about Ayurveda. I had read Deepak Chopra's first book, which kind of popularized Ayurveda in America, um, Perfect Health. I had studied it here and there over the years of my practice, but I hadn't really integrated Ayurveda, and there's a huge difference. Intellectual understanding versus actually using the practices. So when I did actually start to use Ayurveda, I was at a really low point in my life. I had gone to see a lecture by one of my teachers, and he spoke about the three vital essences. And as he described one of those three essences, ojas, I realized I was really, really depleted. And it was time to actually seek out an Ayurvedic doctor and get some support. So I did just that. And it was literally the best thing I had done for myself in probably my whole life because Ayurveda is the science of life. So I began to work with a doctor and made some really important changes. There were some dietary changes. I realized that much of what I was doing was really aggravating for my constitution. Things like um, drinking an ice cold smoothie on my way to teach, uh, made with protein powder, which I thought was great. I was getting my protein in, but made with protein powder, bananas, milk, and ice big fat no-no, so I'd be cold the whole day. And um, because I have a lot of vata in my constitution and pitta um, on the go all the time, signing up for more, signing up for more, and signing up for more, and then ending up you know, tired and stressed and depleted, and kind of thriving on that kind of um, crazy, overscheduled energy. So I began to understand through Ayurveda that like attracts like. So the more I lived that way, the more I was drawn and making choices, you know, to that kind of energy. And that what actually brings about balance is the application of opposites. So through dietary changes and schedule changes and spiritual changes and mental and emotional changes, um, I really began to feel different. It was kind of like, as cliche as this sounds, it was kind of like the clouds parted and the sun came out and I began to feel really good and I began to make different choices and I began to feel more calm and grounded, grounded and loving and um, interested in living that way, more connected, more peaceful, more joyful. So I'm sharing this with you because I know I'm not alone. I know there's a lot of people out there practicing yoga and even practicing in a way that's maybe aggravating to their constitution because they don't have access or an awareness of um, a different way of being. And Ayurveda and yoga were traditionally practiced together. So I really feel part of my mission in sharing my yoga is to share all the other tools related to yoga that help us live a better, more joyful, and healthy, happy life. So in sharing this with you, I want to offer two potential tools. If this sparks your interest at all, I want to suggest that you seek out a good local Ayurvedic doctor. Find out what your constitution is, kind of your, your natural combination of the elements. We're all a combination of three doshas and five elements. So what is your natural state and how does that compare to your current state? And by making these dietary and lifestyle and even yoga practice changes, um, your current state should hopefully match your original constitutional state. And the more those two things are in harmony, the better you feel. So number one, if it sparks your interest, go seek out a doctor and through a series of tests, they check your eyes, your tongue, your skin, your pulse, and take a long history, you can determine your constitution. And then over time, you can make some changes to help support your constitution. 
So that's one thing I would highly recommend. I am not an Ayurvedic doctor, but there are some amazing Ayurvedic doctors out there. So that's one suggestion. The second thought is to join my spring yoga and the five elements immersion. So this is a full spectrum immersion spanning a month. It's Saturdays and Tuesdays in Marin Larkspur Yoga Works studio. And I really connect the dots between the five elements and all the different layers of your life. So yes, it's poses, it's asana practices, but it's also pranayama and meditation and bandra and mudra and chakras because the five elements relate to the chakras within the human body. Um, and then additionally, we create awareness around, of course, the seasons and our diet and all the things we're doing outside of our time on the mat that pertain to the five elements. Five elements really are kind of like the framework of the universe. So the more we understand them and you know, our participation within them, because we are a part of nature and nature is a part of us, um, the more all-encompassing and supportive our yoga practices really will be. So I hope that you consider one of those two things if you have an interest in living a healthy, balanced, and joyful life. Thank you. Namaste.